some of you will be of sufficient age to remember the telephone in the hall. It was one line, it was shared by all, no automatic art answering device, no record of missed calls. In those days, if the phone rang, it was answered because it must be important. And people relied on the telephone for orders for work, will have gotten used to getting up in the middle of meals for that vital conversation. It was disruptive, but seemed unavoidable. And now electronic communication comes in many different forms in a myriad of media. All can be put off for later reading, listening, and if necessary, answering. Here is a solution to the problem of interrupted meals, intrusive bosses, or customers, or the problem of work-life balance, we might think. So what went wrong? Why are we more victimised by electronic interruptions now than we used to be when the telephone was seen as a vital tool to be respected, but which could not be turned off or muted? The answer, simplistically at least, lies in the little flag in a system labelled alert. The way out of the stress creating ping ping of the instant message is to turn all alerts to silent or off. One of my best decisions was to stop my phone vibrating and stop all message, messages pinging except those from the immediate family and even they can get a bit much from time to time. But here's a Lenten suggestion. Give up the intrusions in life that devalue the moment we're in by overlaying it with an alert that there may be something better, just a click or a small screen squint away. The original telephone was hardwired into the junction box. It could only be silenced by leaving the phone off the hook, which was an irresponsible thing to do, of course. Then came, then came the little socket, the ability to unplug and give the world the message that one was out, whether actually out or just out of it. Jesus was completely focused, fixed on the course ahead of him. He knew Jerusalem was ahead. Calvary was beyond, but those who tried to deflect him from the course were clearly told that he was not available. And yet those with the focus to follow found his attention to be undivided. We're blessed to know a God who is there for those who turn to him. His attention on us is undivided. How effective is our management of our alerts that temper, tempt us to break our focus on God? For what it's worth, spoil, it, spoil our precious moments with one another. Why not give up interruptions and learn to manage our messages? We may even find we have better relationships, even the electronic ones, in consequence. Amen.